Welcome back. So let's talk more EDC gear that's either been sent to me by companies or I purchased myself over the last few weeks. And this one is a good one. Let's check it out. This time I have six items here on the table because I can't possibly review every single thing that gets sent to me or I purchase. I just don't have the time. But you might be saying, Chris, you idiot. There's only five things on the table, but that's because I'm wearing number six and I'll probably save this for last. And I have some bangers right here on this table and you guys can already see this right here, but I'm gonna put all this off to the side and I'll probably start right here with this Gerber. This is the Gerber Pry Brid Utility Clip. And you know, I talk a lot of crap about Gerber on this channel just because they don't really make things that I enjoy. For one reason or another, Gerber always comes up short in my book. But when I saw this, I knew I had to have it because my biggest complaint with the Gerber Pry Brid was no pocket clip. And now the Pry Brid Utility Clip adds this steel pocket clip right here. And it is 100% an improvement. But let's just relax, take a step back and take a breath. That doesn't necessarily mean that I like this utility knife. And why is that? Well, there's a few reasons. I just don't like the multi-tool aspect of the pry Brid utility clip here. I like the utility blade aspect. I think if it was just a utility blade with a normal pry bar back here and the clip, I would absolutely love it. But why, why, why give us all this extra stuff? And the extra stuff is just so stupid. And one of my biggest problems with EDC today. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's eight tools in the Gerber Pry Brid utility clip. One is the utility blade here. When the utility blade is retracted, it forms a cord cutter right there in that notch. Turn it around, here is the bottle opener. This is the pry bar, but then they say this is the large flathead, this is the small flathead. Right dead center is a nail puller, and that nail puller can also act as a wire stripper. And I think you guys know where I'm going with this, adding all these useless tools just to call it a multi-tool. Just give me the pry bar here. Don't add a useless nail puller call it a nail puller. Oh, and yeah, it can strip wires. And because there's a notch there, now this is a small flathead and a large flathead. I think it's silly. I don't need this. I just want a flat pry bar right there. I think it would have been perfect. Get rid of the bottle opener. Keep the cord cutter here. I think that is a good idea because, I mean, why not? The blade's already retracted, so... It's a good idea. Oh, and keep the lanyard hole right there because why not? And this slide lock feels pretty good. I mean, overall, if you wanna look past all the silly adding of useless tools right here, just to call it a multi-tool, it's really not all that bad. If it was stripped down of all the nonsense, this would be absolutely great, especially at only 20 bucks. It comes in three different colors. This is the urban blue, and the handles here are made of a glass-filled nylon. The pry bar here is stainless steel. It's about four and a quarter inches long. Not a bad utility knife. It feels nice and beefy. But the saving grace here is this utility blade with this pocket clip. I think it's great. Only 20 bucks the Gerber Pry Brid Utility Clip. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Gerber products, but one day, one day, they're gonna blow me away with something and I'm still waiting for that day. But I'm gonna put this off to the side and let's grab this, the pen. This is the Keras Pen EDK and I believe this is the version two. And I'll give you a close up of the Keras Pen EDK right here. This is black machined aluminum and the pen deployment mechanism is right here on the top. It isn't clicky. So you can see that right there. This is my very first Keras pen. I'm not familiar with this company at all, but overall I think this pen feels really great. It has this grip knurling right here towards the end. So it feels really nice when you're writing. Really nice stainless steel pocket clip. There's a lot of tension on this pocket clip here. And now I'm gonna open the pen. You're gonna see it's gonna open right there, right about dead center. And see that and inside it ships with a Schmidt P8126 in cartridge and you can see that right here but it's also compatible with Parker refills and Fisher Space Pen 
PR refills. So those are pretty readily available. So I like that. And everything Keras Pen makes is designed and manufactured right here in the USA. So I might check out more stuff from Keras Pen. I'm not exactly sure yet, but so far I really like this pen. The size is very nice for everyday carry. Uh, the body right here isn't too thick. It's not too thin and that's really big for me. So writing here feels really nice. So yeah, I might check out some more stuff from Keras Pen. You guys don't see a lot of pen content on my channel because every time I do just a pen video, it absolutely bombs. I don't know why. I know pens are definitely in the EDC world, but when I do these videos, nobody watches them. So if nobody watches them, that means you guys aren't interested and I'm just not gonna record a lot of content on them. So I'll just include them in these EDC pickup videos, I don't know. So once again, the Keras Pen EDK, I think it's the version two, I gotta double check, but it's about 65 bucks. I'll put that off to the side and let's do this next. This is super interesting. This is such a unique, quirky, original, compact, minimalist wallet that I just had to show you guys. This is made by a small company out of the UK called Obsidian Goods. And the wallet itself is called the Grail Wallet. The owner of Obsidian Goods got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to check out some of his designs. And of course I said, yeah, especially after I saw a picture of the Grail wallet here because I'm always on the lookout for new and unique wallets to show you guys. It's available in four different colors and it's made of a single piece of Batero full grain vegetable tan leather. Well, technically it's made of a single piece. There's a small support strip glued to the spine just for some support and it's hand stitched and all that good stuff. But what I really liked about the Grail wallet here is it takes inspiration from a Zippo lighter. I mean, come on guys, check this out. When I first saw this, it reminded me instantly of a Zippo lighter. And when I mentioned it to the owner, he said, oh yeah, it's definitely modeled after a Zippo. And you can see he personalized this specific wallet for me. So let's talk about it real quick. There are three pockets. This front pocket is made to hold up to two bills folded in the quarters. That's right guys, this is a true minimalist compact wallet because this center pocket right here only holds up to seven cards and this back pocket right here holds your most used credit card up to one card. So it can hold a total of eight cards and two bills in its three pockets. And just looking at the design here, I'm still trying to figure out how we actually accomplished making this out of a single piece of leather. And right there, you can see that strip I was talking about that's glued to the spine just for a little bit more support. But this cap part right here is sewn together, as you can see, it goes down and wraps around and then it tucks itself in and forms this other piece on the inside. It's actually a very interesting design here. All right here on the spine, you can see Obsidian Goods, their logo right there. It's the only spot they have a logo, so that's pretty nice. And I looked up the Grail wallet on the Obsidian Goods website. They're asking about $59.25 for this wallet. And he did send a few other wallets here for me to show you guys. Check that out. So that's slightly different with the thumb notch on the bottom as opposed to right there dead center. And then here are some different colors. You can see that's more of a dark blue color and then more of a, I don't know, tobacco brown maybe. And this is completely up to you guys. If you wanna see a full review on the Grail wallet, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see it, I will definitely give you guys a full review. I just think it's such a unique looking wallet. And next, let's talk about this knife right here because I've been super excited to show you guys this thing. This is the Loki from Concept. I think I've been pronouncing their name Concept from my last couple videos, but I believe it's pronounced Concept. I believe, so I apologize if I'm butchering the name, but I'm gonna call it the Concept Loki. Here's the box that came in right here. There's also a little carrying case in there, but let's talk about the knife. Now the Loki here has something unique that I've never really seen before and I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it or not. And you can probably already see it, this curved thumb hole right there on the blade. I saw that and I was like, there's no way I'm going to like this knife, but it actually works very well. I can spidey flick it open. And what I really like is your thumb, when it sits right there on that curved thumb hole, it basically just follows the curvature, the natural curvature that your thumb 
takes when it's opening the blade. And once I got this in my hands and realized that, I instantly liked it. So what do we have here? This blade is CPM S35VN. It's about 2.99 inches long. And it has a really nice black stonewash finish to it, but the blade shape itself, I'm having a pretty hard time identifying it. They're calling it a sheep's foot blade, but to me, it looks like a cross between a sheep's foot and a reverse tanto. What do you guys think? From my eyes, that's what I'm seeing, but I really like it. Two-tone titanium handles right here and a frame lock, a milled titanium pocket clip, and this black titanium backspacer right here looks very nice. I love the black and silver two-tone look to this. I think it looks great. And it doesn't have a hole for a lanyard, so that's interesting. And I should mention that the pocket clip is tip up and is right side only. And the action here is absolutely fantastic. Watch this drop shut. It is really smooth. Let me show you guys again. This drop shut is so buttery smooth. And I am really digging the shape of the Loki here. Let me show you why. If I hold the handle horizontal like this, you can see where it goes straight and then starts to angle right about there. And then the blade continues that angle downwards. And that just means a very comfortable knife when you're using it for chopping or cutting of any sort. I wasn't really expecting to like this knife as much as I do. It's about 160 bucks. S35VN titanium frame lock, a sheep's foot reverse tanto blade, whatever the heck it is, I am really, really digging this, the concept Loki. All right, now it's time for, you guessed it, the brand new Trayvax Unholy Contours. I have one of each. I have the rose gold and the regular Unholy version and one without the bottle opener and one with the bottle opener. And as you can see, I haven't even opened these up yet. So let's do that really quick. And if you guys just saw my video I released a few weeks ago of my rankings of the best Trayvax wallets, of course I put the contour at number one and I mentioned in that video that I didn't have the unholy versions. And then of course I ended up getting them. And I wanna thank Trayvax for sending these out to me. Obviously I haven't carried these yet because I literally just pulled them out of those packages. But if you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you are 100% familiar with the Trayvax Contour. I recorded maybe three videos on the Contour in the past and absolutely one of my favorite wallets of all time. And one of the biggest complaints I saw with the original Contour was people didn't like the attachment point. I didn't mind the attachment point, but apparently a lot of you guys didn't like it. So Trayvax answered and gave you a contour without that attachment point and gave you the option bottle opener or no bottle opener. I think it's great. And just to compare, I'll bring in my titanium contour right here. This one does have the attachment point right there and the bottle opener just to show you what they look like side by side. This is the rose gold with no bottle opener and the normal unholy with the bottle opener. So the Trayvax Contour can hold up to 13 cards and up to 10 bills folded into quarters. The bottom plate right there is CNC'd from stainless steel and the top plate right there is stainless steel but PVD coated. And all the leather here is top grain oil tan leather. You can see that. I believe as of right now, it's only available in this one color that's black. Now let me give you a close up of that rose gold. This is an absolutely gorgeous wallet with that rose gold and that black top grain leather. And then the other one right here, the black top plate with the dark stainless steel on the bottom. I think it looks great. Plus Trayvax is just a great company. Everything is sourced and handmade right here in the USA. It comes with a 65 year heirloom warranty. But if you wanna pick up a contour, you guys already know they're not cheap. Um, I believe the Unholy is 165 and the Rose Gold is 185. So I am super stoked to get my hands on the Unholy contour. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to review this. Like I said, I've recorded so much content on the contour in the past is going to function exactly the same way, except it's going to have a few less options. And last but not least, my watch right here. This is the brand new Dango DV02. And I'm just going to take this off to show you guys. Plus, just a lot easier. It's not as awkward bending my wrist around. Let me give you guys a nice close up of the DV02 automatic from Dango here. That's right. This is an automatic 
dive watch from Dango. And I've had this for a few weeks now, and I love this watch. And why is that? Well, first off, I love autos. You don't have to wind them. And this is a good one. I actually took this off for a few days and came back. It was still working. I have a few autos that if I take it off for a day, they just stop ticking because it wasn't being wound internally by the movement. But this didn't seem to have any issues at all. Now, this one came with a silicone strap, which is very comfortable. But if you don't like the silicone strap, you can easily just remove it with these little tabs right here. Just pull the tabs off, comes right off, and you can replace them with any other strap. The case is a 45 millimeter 316 L stainless steel with a domed sapphire crystal covering the face. And yes, this bevel does rotate right there. I'll fix that later. And you can dive with the DV02 up to 300 meters. And I'll give you a close up of the face here. The date is right on the three hour mark over here. And yes, all those markers are luminous. Actually, let me grab some ultraviolet light. I'll show you. All right, I'm going to blast this with some ultraviolet light. And you can see all the markers and the hands right there are glowing and a little dot right there on top of the bezel. So that is really cool. And this is powered by a Seiko automatic three hands movement. And I just wanna say that I am no watch expert. I just love automatic watches. I can't go over the ins and outs of the internals of this watch. I just know what I like and I like the Danko DV02 here. So out of everything that you saw here today, which one is your favorite? Is it the Danko DV02? Is it the concept Loki? Is it the Karis Pen EDK? Is it the Gerber Prybrid Utility Clip? Is it one of these Trayvax Unholy Contours or this unique Grail Wallet? Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. And I told you this was going to be a good one. If you want to check out anything you saw here on the table, I will have links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Remember, let me know about this Grail wallet if you guys want me to do a full review on that. Very interesting. And go!